Hey everybody, this is Ori from Astral Web. I'm here to create another video about A-B testing, about ex analytics experiments, and just uh, optimizing your, your goals or your users' uh, goals. Um, so in this video, we're going to talk about uh, using the WordPress platform in order to test and do a analytics experiment. So uh, the first thing you want to start with is, of course, knowing what you want to test, what you want to optimize, what you want to improve as far as conversion. So uh, A is uh, we, we had to select a conversion. For this, and for this specific site, our conversion was uh, anytime someone goes to the contact us page, we call it a conversion, okay? Um, it's obviously a step before actually calling or filling out a form, but that's the first conversion goal that we set up, okay? So for A, uh, anytime someone goes to, to this contact page, so what we do uh, is we actually um, went to analytics, okay, and uh, we went to admin and to goals right here, and we set up anytime someone visits a contact page that it is is a goal. So slash contact page, and right here slash contact page. Okay, cool. So you set up your, your goal. If it's someone calling, if it's a, someone filling out a form, going to a, subscribing to a newsletter, whatever it is. So that's A. Now uh, B is we need to figure out what experiment we actually want to run to figure out the numbers and, and, and improve uh, upon our uh, conversion rate for our goal. Okay. So in the case that we're doing right now for this video is we're on our photo gallery page and we want to just uh, experiment by changing this text here to see if we can get more people from the photo gallery page to come to our contact page. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to log into WordPress and you want to create, go to pages and just create a new page or uh, a new post depending on what you want. But most likely it would be a new page I would, I would guess. So uh, you would go, you'd either copy, clone it, or create a new one. So we created a new one called Photo Gallery 2, right? And all we did, and you know, obviously you're going to save it, test it, and all that stuff. So this is the original one right here. And what we did on Photo Gallery-2 is we changed the text here, made it larger, and said get a free estimate today and made it click to the Contact Us page, right? So we're helping people... Uh, um, you know, get to the, the contact page and uh, trying to kind of further our goals, right? So this is our experiment, very simple from this, see our recent projects to get a free estimate. Okay, so now that we created it, now we're going to go to step two and actually set it up in Google Analytics, okay? So, <clears throat> excuse me, so let's go back to reporting and we're going to go to behavior right here and experiments, okay? So we're going to set it up, right? So it says here, experiment to improve goal conversion. So um, we're going to go back here, take the first URL, and we're going to enter the URL for the page you want to improve. So that's the first actual page, right? This is our original photo gallery page, okay? Let's say let it preview, and then we can start experimenting or start with the setup, okay? Okay, perfect. It looks good. You always want to check the preview that the page you included actually does exist and you didn't make any kind of typos. Oh, so now we have to name an experiment, and, and let's call it a more visits to contact page, right? Whatever descriptive thing you want to, okay? And now you're going to select the, the objective. So you're going to select either an e-commerce or goal that you set up, whatever goals we set up in, in the, the first step, right? So we're going to select goal set, visit contact page, uh, percentage of traffic to experiment on, depending on you. We want to do 100%, and we want to go to the next step. Oh, sorry, email notifications. We of course uh, want to include emails to ourselves. Okay, um, so let's go to the next step, step two here. And this is our original one. You can name it however you want. This is fine. Let's call it original photo gallery. And now we want to we want to define the second variation. So let's go here. And if you remember, it's just photo gallery two, right? So let's go here, input that, look at the preview that the header is different, right? It'll, and then we'll call this variation one photo gallery, okay? So you can see get a free estimate here and the other one, right? So now we're going to go to our next step, and you can obviously add more variations, but we're just going to keep it simple right here, okay? 
Okay, so now uh, configure estimate. Again, original one is this. The, the new variation is this. Let's go uh, to actually add the code. So you're going to need to insert, um, make sure two things. Okay, one, make sure that all pages, of course, have Google Analytics. And the second one, in the original uh, uh, a page, you're going to have to insert additional code that knows how to redirect a, upon every every other or every needed uh, page view to redirect to the variation so we can test it out, right? Let's click on manually insert the code and as you see here it says exactly what I mentioned. Uh, make sure your original and variation pages have, so all pages have the regular tracking code and paste this code right here which we're doing copy into the opening head tag at the top of your original page, right? So I'm going to actually open a um, a, a notepad and I'm going to show you one more thing we have to do. So I'm going to include this here. So what we basically have here and I'm going to explain is in WordPress uh, the files are obviously coming from or the pages come from a database. They don't come from a static HTML file, right? So what you have to do is you're going to have to actually edit the head, uh, uh, the header a PHP include to actually make sure that only upon the original page that it is exactly that it mentioned right here, we're going to include that code. Not on all pages, but just on the original page, right? So I'm going to show you what it is. So it's a very simple uh, addition. So all we do is basically open PHP and say, if the page is the original ID, which is number 12, and I'll show you how to get there, then uh, just, just, you know, include this code. And that's it. And then end the if. So um, let's show you how to do this. So because you need to include the code on your original page, what we're going to do is go to um, the original page right here, edit the page, okay, and we're going to look for the ID. And the ID is always in the URL. So if you notice here, post equals 12. So that's how I got to the page ID number 12, right? So that's why I included it right here. If it's a different page, you'll create a different number, okay? So let's take this finalize the code and move on to the last step. Okay, copy. Now I'm going to go to appearance, edit, okay, and we're going to look for the header include, or the header PHP file. Okay, so right here, header.php, I'm going to click on it, and it said at the top of the head tag to include it. So right after it opens, right here, let's include the code that we have. Let's minimize these blanks. Okay and we're going to click on update file. Okay, so after you do that you obviously want to check that the site is good, that you didn't make any mistakes. Uh, let's just randomly go to the, both photo gallery pages, the home page and another page. Make sure nothing broke. Okay, this, this one works. Um, let's go to the re regular one. Let's open a services page and the home page. And just ver verify everything looks good. Okay, okay. Looks good, looks good, everything is good. Okay. So now on the on the original photo gallery, I'm gonna edit the source and make sure we have our code, which is right here. Right, sorry, up to here. Okay, so that works. Now let's check, for example, that the second gallery page doesn't have the code and it doesn't. Okay, perfect. So now we're good. Um, now we're gonna continue and say that we, we can move on to the next step. So next step is just gonna verify that everything looks good. Um, and you can see it here again the, the the images, the previews, and right here it says here check and check. So original photo gallery has the experiment code, the unique experiment code, Google Analytics code, and the variation as Google Analytics code. Uh, that's it. So uh, now you can start your experiment. Let's click on start. Okay. And it says experiment launch. So that's it basically. So we set it up and we'll let some. Uh, time go by and uh, gather some visits and gather some information and hopefully get some conclusions about how we can improve our conversion rate to the contact page. So hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions about A-B testing. We'll be happy to help uh, with WordPress or just in general with the, the Google Analytics experience. Thank you very much.